When John I. Armstrong was beginning to plan the development of Highland Park in more detail, he and one of his sons-in-laws traveled to California where they met Wilbur David Cook, who was a landscape architect and was designing Beverly Hills at that time. So he hired Mr. Cook to come to Dallas to see the land so that he could help develop it. The original developer of the town set aside 20% specifically for parks. And what's unique about what they did was they incorporated the two beautiful creeks, both Turtle Creek and Hackberry Creek, as part of the park system. What's significant about that is they remain open to the public. They accentuated the beauty. They didn't turn their backs on the creeks, they, they faced it toward it. They used the creeks and the areas, the drainage areas, uh, as an asset. It's uh, that natural beauty and that, uh, that you enjoy today, that open space, those, those drives along the creeks, lakeside, and along Hackberry Creek, that are wonderful borders of green. And you can walk along those areas and, and step down to that creek area along those paths, and you feel like you're 50 miles away from Dallas. So it became the first totally planned town in Texas, the first totally planned park city in Texas, and then that planning was incorporated in the name, the high land for the fact that the land was higher than downtown Dallas, and park for the green space and the park system. And it was an instant success.